Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D Land. So in the last episode, we finished off World 4 in its entirety. And in this episode, we're going to receive some more mail. Mario, come on, you can get it. There you go. Good boy. Oh my god! We have Goomba stats, and the princess can jump and Goombas will try to eat her? That's probably bad news, Mario. You might want to take care of that. Also, hello, Monty Moles that were kind of... Were those Monty Moles digging out of the ground there, or are those just normal moles? Yeah, I think those are Monty Moles, and aren't the giant moles from Mario World, aren't they Mega Moles? Something like that? Either way, we have a, a new power-up here, finally. This whole game playing only with the Tanuki suit and the Fire Flower. We now have the Boomerang suit that I almost lost accidentally there. Hey, if we take out the top of the Pokey, it all dies at the same time. Which is much more efficient of a way to take them out. So right up here, if you just jump into it, you can get your first Comet Medal. Comet Medal, I'm gonna do that. This whole game. I swear- ooh! Good dog, Carl. Good job, Mario. Getting all the coins. The first Star Medal was right in there. Also, Goomba, I will get you on the backswing. I might have missed you for starters. But... Haha! -ha, I made it the first time. Normally, I kind of suck at, at making it over that. Okay, Thwomp. Oh, no! No, no, no. Okay. See, you can see the shadow of the of the star metal up. If you... Dang it. I missed again. Get up there. Thank you. And now... Get it! Yeah, okay. Whew. That star metal is a little bit slow going, because the thwomp is just high enough that you have to have a running jump started to actually be able to get onto him. So if you miss that, or if, like, for instance, his his tail will actually get in the way. Because he has a... he has a tail... Th actually, you know what? I don't want that boomerang suit. That boomerang suit can stay out there forever, for all I care. I will hold on to my tanuki suit. Oh! Poor little boomerang got crushed by that spiky ball. Oh, I didn't... I didn't hit you with my boomerang. Like I was trying to do. That is completely my fault. So I'm actually gonna pull out my... Um, pull out my tanuki suit here. Because the third star medal is coming up here relatively soon. And it's going to be, in my opinion, easier to get if I have the Tanuki suit, which I almost just lost like five different times there. And then I ended up... Really? Now I'm pretty much screwed. Yep, because I couldn't wall jump off the wall. That gets you sometimes, because the star coin, or the, the star medal, is right where the wall starts to angle. So... So, be forewarned and jump early. Not again! No! I was even prepared that time! <sighs> okay, this time is normal, Mario. No! No! I was- I was like two pixels! That was shooped. I can tell by the pixels. There we go! See, it's not so hard at all! I just suck. Which really shouldn't be a surprise. Though then again, with how relatively simple this game is, it actually is kind of surprising at the same time. So this is basically Big Ball Central here. So if you don't like Big Balls, you might not want to be on this level. However, if you can just avoid them all and let them do their civil duty, civic duty, and kill themselves there. You can have all these star coins, make it here onto Mr. Cannon Man, and... Go fly the level and make it through the thing and get five coins out of the deal. That took a ridiculously long time for one level, considering how many times I died to that relatively easy thing, which is... Completely my fault. I have no one to blame other than myself. I mean, I've become so reliant on the Tanuki suit that I can't do simple platforming anymore. And that is- that is bad. So this level here, does it remind you of anything? In particular? No? If not, well, I promise it, it will with time. Let's just avoid those guys all together. So we really want to hang on to our fire flower here. It is going to be something we need. So let's just be patient here. Actually, if you jump right up here, 
there is your first star medal. But this room here is where we want our fire flower. Let's collect ourselves some five coins, and then you might see some torches here. Does this remind you of anything now? If not, I'm sorry that you've never played The Legend of Zelda. This, this level is entirely based around the first Legend of Zelda and this top-down perspective and, like, room transition and stuff. It's a complete homage, and there you heard the Legend of Zelda, like, yet secret item sound noise that happened there. So, it's, it's a neat, it's a neat little just, like, homage, bonus, whatever you want to call it. Ah, oh, speaking of bonuses, this bonus. It's like, right, yeah, there we go. See, the thing is, you can't get that Tanuki suit. If you hit this block that's right between these two, if you hit that first, the the Tanuki leaf will land on it instead. And it is not possible to get it, because you cannot actually make it on top. So if you want that suit to learn from my mistakes and realize that you have to land, you have to hit that block before you hit the block to the left of it. Otherwise, good luck. It's not even possible. It, and it makes me sad, because I mishit that block every time. That is literally the first time I've ever gotten that Tanuki Leaf from that bonus. And that's not for a lack of having done this level. I've replayed this level numerous times, because one, it's an awesome level, Zelda-themed. But two, especially trying to get back with a Fire Flower before I knew about that hidden Fire Flower that I got, it was ridiculous. It was kind of ridiculous. It's, it's easy to take an accidental hit in that level. Like, very, very easy. So let's just move on here. No, I don't want to skip this level. I still say these levels should not be skippable. They should force you to get 40 star medals before allowing you to continue. Because the rest of the game is so easy any anyway. It seems like that should that would be a logical thing. But I guess you want to make your game accessible to as many people as you possibly can. So I can't really hold it against them at the same time. This is pretty much, now that I think about it, this is kind of floating platform level. That's almost all this level is. Floating, moving platforms. There's a couple of these guys from Galaxy that make appearances here and there. Those flippy, flippy guys that when they show you they're yellow, you want to take them down to Chinatown. Yeah, those guys. There's some of those, but pretty much this level's all about flying. So it's sad there's not like a P-Wing or something that you can get. That's, that's New Super Mario Bros. 2, not, not Super Mario 3D Land, where I'm a, I'm a little too early, early to the times for that. So let's pull back out our Tanuki suit here, right, oh hey, I still got the boomerang out! That's pretty awesome. I didn't think, um, I didn't think I was gonna be able to get the boomerang out, cause like I hit the button at the, really, I missed it? Okay, well. Time to return, and return again, and still make it, yes. Okay. Thank you for the Tanuki float. That is, like, vital to this game as a whole, is the Tanuki float. No, I do not want that. I much prefer to keep my Tanuki suit and my boomerang suit. Those, that's pretty much the, the, the power hour right there. Um, if you have the two of those, you can take on just about anything the game has to has to throw at you, whether it be this obstacle, obstacle course here, where you're just running to the end and getting all of the coins because you're just the best around, and getting your second star medal as well. That's another good reason to continue here. Uh, where is the... Oh, the third star medal's right up here. Okay. For a second, I was thinking that, uh, like, in getting the second star medal, I had passed... I had passed the third one, and that would have just been a dick move if that was the case, but no, the star medal's right here. So just make sure that you actually kind of hurry up here and get back up top. You do have plenty of time, but you do not want to miss the train. Because the train, this train is never late. It is always on time, delivering all equally to the same end. And if you are not there to be delivered to that equal same end, then you are out of luck. That sentence almost made sense. Sentence. Thank you, Mario. I'm glad you appreciated my pun that was actually pretty bad. And that if I ever felt that uh, if I ever felt bad about puns, that's the pun I would feel bad about. But luckily for me and for you, I never do. So we can continue on here. World 5-4. Oh yeah, this is these guys. Aren't these guys mega moles, not Monty Moles? 
Actually, knowing my luck and my track record with knowing the names of things, they're probably Monty Moles. Uh, see, I thought those little guys were Monty Moles, and then the, the, the bigger ones were Mega Moles. But, I don't know. That's gonna bother me. I should've looked that up. But the thought didn't occur to me until I had already started recording the episode, so I can't just, like, pause and look it up now. That's not allowed. Oh, hello there, block that pretty much just forced me into this pit. I definitely had absolutely no idea that that hidden block was there. But definitely try to get all three of your, um, coins from that, like all the, all the bonus hits on that thing. You can come in here and get some time. Unfortunately, our third star medal is not in here, actually. All of the star medals in this level are all hidden inside, like, the maze type thing. You might call this a maze. Like, what is it? Is it Vanilla Secret 2 in Mario World? Is that what this level reminds me of? It's the one that has all of these little caves for you to climb in, and then it also has the yellow layer 2 effect in the second half of the level, after there's an angel block that has a Yoshi wing in it. That's what this level always reminds me of, is that. Thankfully, there's no layer 2 going on here, threatening to crush me at any possible moment. Also, it's the second one I want in, isn't it? It is! Huh, I can't believe I remembered that. So if you bounce on that Mega Mole there and make it all the way up here... Get the gold flag? Question marks? Actually, there's very little question marks. It's all profit! And because our time ended in a sits, we got balloons! We should- I should make my time end in sits more often. I like balloons. Like, I like doubloons, too. Now I feel just like a gangsta, like, doubloons, man! I love the doubloons. But, okay, that was, that was bad. Okay, I feel a little bad about that one. Uh, I will not lie. So, Toad House, do you have anything, like, better than what I have? I can't imagine you do. No, you just have another boomerang suit. I'd rather hold on to my tanuki suit, frankly. I already have a boomerang suit in reserve, so thank you, but no thank you. I'm going to have to completely disregard everything you possibly had to offer to me. Ooh, World 5-5. Five five. I actually really did this level. For a reason that you will see here very shortly. After we somehow miraculously kill that Goomba very easily. It's the return of the propeller hat from New Super Mario 3. In fact, I, we've already seen the propeller hat. Um... But this is a much more vertical-oriented level. I think the last time we saw the propeller hat, um, it was we were falling with it. As opposed to in this level, where we're climbing with it. And climbing is infinitely more fun, because you get to, like, make it go vroom way more times a lot. And that is, like, the most fun to have with a propeller hat. So let's just... we don't need another one, we already have one. So thank you, but no thank you, M Mr. Propeller Hat. Uh, they do kind of put them all over the place, because if you take a hit, I'm quite certain you lose your Propeller Hat. And not to mention they have to put one at the checkpoint in case you die. And they're just, they're all over. So, oh, that was not enough of a... Come on. There we go. That jump's not that hard to do. And in fact, you can do it going between the, the left and right bouncy platforms there. I just prefer to do it the way I did it. And yeah, I lost my... My propeller face. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll, we'll just do this and hope there's a propeller suit at the top of it. Uh, there is not. Okay. Well, we are... We need to go get one. Um, I do not really think that could be done without one. So, thankfully, they put one here. Um, the only thing that Peace Wish got us was those... Those rings to fall through, which just give you coins. It's not actual any kind of, like, super bonus or anything. Uh, it's not your third star medal. Your third star medal's floating out there. You can barely see it if you're very astute with your eyeballs. So let's land on these little precision platforms here. Uh, and now fall, 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 hold, and get it. There we go. Can you bounce, please? Thank you. For I almost did not make that bounce, and that would have been, uh, very sad, actually. So let's forego all these enemies. You can bounce on these enemies all the way down if you'd like. But there's one enemy at the end that we are going to bounce on. Or actually, we're just going to... ground pound through. I could hardly classify that as bouncing on that enemy. 
It was more like, yeah, you're in my way, I'm gonna plow my ass directly through your face. And flatten you. I hope you don't mind, and I still hope you're having a nice day, but I definitely crushed you. Also, I guess... I guess you... you can't skip the Bowser level. So that is a hard cap of needing 50 star coins to unlock the Bowser level. So I guess I don't see why they couldn't just do that on the... on the hidden levels as well. We only needed 40 for that one hidden level prior. So, I mean, it's not like it's that much of a difference. You would definitely probably get 10... It's not unreasonable to ask for 10 more star medals between, like, the... F I think we did three levels after... After that, so it's not unreasonable to ask for, like, you to get all nine of them and then, like, one more on another level. At least I don't think so. But I guess this is why I don't make games, because they know better than me. Also... There we go. There's your first star medal. Also, don't skip your second one. It's right here. Uh, very easy to miss if you're not careful. Also, okay, I guess I'll come back for, for this. This is just going to give me a life. Not that I really need more of those. I already have a life. Come on. Well, kind of. And let's just ride this all the way down. There we go. And I just realized my... My 3DS is flashing red. That is happening. So let's land here and beat Bowser very quickly before... Before I run out of batteries. Because that would be sad. Okay. So... Die, everything die. Oh, okay, I guess now that I've admitted I'm recording this on an actual 3DS... I have something called a 3DS capture card, I guess you could call it. It's made by a guy who goes by Loopy on the internet. Uh, I guess I'll throw a link in the description to his site. Um, they are expensive. Uh, right now they're going on eBay for a lot. Also, well done, Bowser. You just killed me because my momentum was in the direction of out there. And without a Tanuki suit, I was unable to correct my momentum. So, well done. Also, I have to get the third one again. I almost completely ignored that. However, as I was saying, they're kind of expensive. I saw one go on eBay for $1,000. Um, so, I mean, they're not cheap. I think they've come down a little bit. Um, but just know that going into it. Um, yeah, other than that, they work awesome. It's just like a USB port I plug into... I plug into my 3DS, essentially, essentially, and it allows me to capture it. Okay, Bowser, go ahead, do your thing. I'm just going to go over here and get crushed by you. Just completely, completely crushed. Uh, okay. Yeah, you stay over there. You are really in the way right now. I hope you are proud of your increased AI that you seem to have received since the last time we did battle. However, this time you are mine. Sorry, Bowser. You didn't stand a chance. Except for the fact that you weren't Bowser, you were a Magikoopa! Also, that poor Tanuki Leaf just turning down there and getting turned into dusts. He didn't deserve that. He was a good Leaf. A good mother and brother. At the same time, somehow. Don't judge people. Different strokes for different folks. And, okay, phew. We did gold flag. It's a little, it's a little scarier doing it as tiny Mario. Well done, my Mario. So uh, next time on Let's Play Super Mario 3D Land, we will take on World Six. Luckily, my 3DS didn't die. So until then, thank you guys so very much for watching this, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.